Hello. Today I'd like to invite you to go deeper. So I'm speaking about going deeper, listening deeper, living deeper, opening deeper. Opening deeper into our bodies, so what does it feel like to really be alive and present in my body? For example, over the years when I used to do massage work with people, or craniosacral work, or yoga, or running, I used to run for hours and hours through the forest, or swimming in the oceans, or horse riding, but am I really being present in my body? Am I feeling my body at a cellular level? Am I in touch with what's really happening deep inside my heart, inside my womb, inside my breath, inside my blood? What would it feel like to go deeper? A few years ago, I spent an extended period of time in South America and at some point did a process that um, included not drinking for a period of time, not eating for a longer period of time, a pranic light body process, and spent hours and hours and hours and hours underneath a tree breathing, observing my cells, observing my breath, observing my heart. What would it take to stop and notice what's happening inside? What would it take to stop looking all of the time outside when there's so much mystery and so much beauty inside? Only a few years ago, um, two years ago now, I went on a long pilgrimage through Spain, walking from the Pyrenees all the way to Santiago Compostela and then to the Atlantic Ocean. I met so many people on that path, walking a pilgrimage. And it takes courage to do that. It takes time, you have to stop working, you have to maybe leave your loved ones behind, spend time on your own. I slept under the stars most of the time, under in a tent. Maybe it gets cold, maybe there's not always food. Walking every day for long hours. And there's such an incredible freedom that comes when we allow ourselves to let go of all of those pre and post structures. This is an invitation to follow that call if you've heard it. In all of my work in the last 10 years, working with people on their healing journey, on their awakening journey, midwifing, spirit into being, essence into being, I found that going deeper is a really important part of receiving who we really are. And going deeper can mean letting go, it can mean relaxing. It's really valid to relax and not do anything for a while if that means that you can listen more deeply to yourself. When a woman is giving birth, she is going so incredibly deeply into her womb, there's no space for any thoughts. There's no space for any ideas or imaginings, the body, the sensations in the body are so big and so huge that there's nowhere else to go but inside. And that's why giving birth can be such an incredible, deep and powerful initiation for women. It's a spiritual experience in its core. And as we move into that space of deepening into our bodies, as we move into that space of deepening into our hearts, we might discover some really new things that we didn't even know existed. I found in the last years that there's been so many new things that have been gifted to me I'm so grateful for because of opening up my heart and my life to the unknown again and again and again because of stepping into mystery and not knowing at all what's going to happen perhaps even the next day maybe not even knowing where I'm going to be, how I'm going to live but being in complete 
and total alignment with spirit. That sometimes takes a lot of discomfort and stepping out of the comfort zone every single day. And in return, there's an amazing amount of blessings constantly streaming down because life is so abundant. I think this is a time where we can allow ourselves to be nourished by our love and by our own beings. It's only waiting to happen. As we go deeper into our hearts, as women, the Divine Feminine has a chance to awaken within us and the more we awaken within the Divine Feminine, the more we allow that to pour into the world. As men, the more we awaken into the Divine Masculine, the more we allow that to pour into the world and it's so needed. I work a lot with pregnancy and birth and so I'm constantly surrounded by families and children and I can see that the cycles of life are always coming and going and we're all learning from each other. And so wouldn't it be beautiful to be able to show our children that it's possible to live a life full of purpose full of love and full of beauty. I know that it's not always easy to do exactly what we're supposed to do within the structures that are available in our world, but we have infinite potential to create our own world now. And in all my healing work, and in my creative work as an artist, I know that the more we're able to imagine the more we allow our mind to expand, the more we allow that reality to manifest in our life because magic is all around us. And I invite you to go deeper into that magic. infinite sky